are back in League of Legends. Silver one, ranked play, I'm in the jungle, and unfortunately I don't get a lot of information before I have to pick. What I'm really concerned about is we have two characters who are either Feast or Famine, which means I need to pick someone who can get them off the ground. I kinda want to do Shivana this game, but... she doesn't have what we need. The one I'm currently leaning towards is Vi. Thing is, I don't really want to install my custom skin right now. Do I have anyone else? I'm not doing Kindred. Nautilus. Do I want to do Nautilus? I'm thinking I want to do Nautilus. Let's do Nautilus. Now, for this one, I think I'm going to take Natural Talent, because Nautilus just doesn't do a lot of damage, I'm afraid. I'm going to be building him full tank here for the most part. My job is to provide the CC for my team. And I'm going to go with the ability damage. I don't know if he got his change yet to his depth charge, which is one of the reasons why I'm a little interested in playing him. But anyway, we're going for exposed weakness, that way I can synergize with my teammates. Like I said, I'm going for more of a tanky support type play here. This is going to amplify my damage a little bit, so I don't have to rely on just getting in there and auto-attacking people. I can use my E, my ult, my Q. And I don't think the W has an AP ratio at all, but still it's going to increase my auto-attack damage. Going for this one because Nautilus is a CC machine. The only move of yours that doesn't cause any form of CC is your W, but that still works off of your passive, so... Yeah. Anyway, over here we want the bonus armor and MR because we're going tanky. Movement speed and river brush. Mm, this one's a little up for debate. You could justify either one. It's gonna suck for Cat in that little block matchup, but I do have the block down to deal with her if I can get to level 6. Increasing my shield, my healing, and everything else. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna need the healing, so let's go with that. I can have this instead. Now, they do have a little bit of CC. I'm gonna stick to this and this. That way I'm just bulkier. So the target I'm gonna focus here is going to be Yasuo, just so you know. That's gonna get Riven going, it can put him on tilt, and if Riven really gets snowballing, it's pretty much an instantly won game. And I guess the other added benefit that I didn't go over is that, um, well there's two. With a Katarina on the field, it means I get to keep my blue buff so I can use my cooldowns much more often. I can spam my heart's content for the most part. And the secondary part is Nautilus, I think, is one of those few junglers I don't have the chest for just yet. So if we do really well this game, I can go ahead and pick up another chest, which means I need even more key fragments. So anyway, Elise is going to Assassin, we can tell that because of her keystone. They have three Thunderlords. Wow. Now, worth pointing out is they don't have a true tank. They could have Yasuo go for his off-tank build. They could um, have Elise go a little bit of a bruisery build. That's kind of it. They would have actually been a lot better off with a Nar top or something. But that's their problem. Their win condition is they have to win early and decisively. If they don't, we have a much, much better late game. Basically, once they blow their CC, Cat can jump in and try to shred them. Jinx goes hyper carry, Riven can split push, or she can join the team fight since her W and ult are AoE. And then we also have the Stranglethorns. Now the question is, is Riven going to connect? While we wait, I can go on the topic of Nautilus skins for a moment. The only one that I like that I'd actually consider picking up, I think, is Abyssal Nautilus, where he looks like a big daddy, I think it is. Like, I don't remember if that's what the skin is actually called, but that's the only one I actually like of his. People may make a big deal out of Astro Nautilus or something, but it doesn't seem that special. Overall, his skins aren't that great. Plus, I'm kind of out of RP at the moment, so... 
The only skins I'll be getting from here on out are probably from those Hextech crates. So I can start either W or E, it doesn't matter. The part that will come into play is just how well of a leash I'm given. The thing about the W is it has a massive 18 second cooldown compared to this which has a 7. So this adds on 31 damage over 2 seconds compared to this which is 56. And yeah, I, this does have an AP ratio. Probably about the same one as my E, though. 30 seconds until minions spawn. Sometimes I think this anger just weighs me down. There's Elise and Blitz. Cat's dead. Ooh, she got out, but she had to burn Flash. No, she didn't have to burn Flash. Did she take E and Ward Hopper? First blood. Live cat. <laughs> the greed. <laughs> so don't forget to use your W as an auto attack reset. That's the single best advice I can give you regarding Nautilus. <laughs> so that should give them the dominance in the bot lane because Blitz has to go back after that. Wow, she started Dark Seal too. Sadly, Nautilus's early clears are a tad weak. And LB burned all of her mana, so that's kind of it for pressure for a moment. What the hell is she doing? Oh my god, it's one of these ribbons. She can't get down unless Riven escorts her away from the tower. She didn't take the red. I 
never arranged these, I just noticed. Was a little sloppy on their part. Then again, Jinx is rushing tier 2 boots. It's not the first time I've seen that today, but it will be the first time I've seen it work if it does. I don't know why people are doing that. Double buff Riven for the win. I need a little more gold. Okay, I have enough for boots and my cinder now. She went in a little too prematurely, I guess. tables on your way out. Get them in the air, stein them for one second. I guess the change did go through. That's the one without items, so it's the clone. That's the one with items. Almost stole that with the auto attack. Bod is in a horrible spot. They've dug themselves a hole. He's faster than I am. He can't be over here, so that's why I wasn't concerned.
Now the bad part about Cat is Blitz can interrupt Cat's ult with either his E, his his Q, his E, or his ult. Those are the moves. Anyway, I'm gonna get a blue smite here just because they're so mobile. <laughs> Are they pre made? No. And more double buffs for Riven, I just noticed. She went Sork's shoes before finishing her abyssal. Wow. The teammates I get these days. Pinned against the wall. And the cooldown on this doesn't go down until I get CDR. Damn abyssal. Like the abyssal won't just help against LeBlanc, it's also gonna help the Elise. Yeah, if there's bot lane, there's legitimately nothing I can do. For some reason, Jinx will not build AD, so she shoots fast, but those shots have no power behind them. She's at half health, she shouldn't be here. Looks like Riven's far enough along to win that lane solo now. Mm, I think I want boots. Not those. These. I can sell them later on, but I need the CDR right now so I can get more depth charges off. The team just isn't doing too hot. So let's see, 20%. I'm actually not doing the math in case you're wondering, I'm looking at the mini-map. We have no eyes on the dragon pit.
just shooting the right one. Keep going. There we go. Totally worth my death. And that may be what Jinx needs to get out of that rut. It's going to cost Cat her stacks, though. At this point, she's not going to be able to get anything big off the Dark Seal, I think. And with a blue buff, Jinx can use rockets indefinitely. An ally has been slain. Damn. So that's going to catapult... Walk away, she's getting healed. Get to safety, Jinx. She did not get pulled, you can tell by looking at the mini-map. First blood turret gold. Let's get this so Cat gets a little bit of bonus. We might be able to get three elemental dragons this game. Depends on how quickly we can take them once they spawn. Get this in one go. Main reason for this is that I can heal away from base. My mana, our health regen is pretty decent. It's just I will need to finish the Frozen Heart to have max CDR, which should be my next item.
damn. Now the wolf camps up. It's 1100 I think for them. Oh, it's just a thousand. The way Zyra's going, if she can keep it up and actually turn this around, she could deserve the blue buff. I have ult, let's try to find. can't have Cat come, but the rest of us should be able to. That's why we're going without you. Now we were needed Riven here. I'm not durable enough. We can remedy that. So anyway, I'm capped on CDR right now. Jinx has climbed out of the pit she was in. Your team has destroyed a turret. I'm taking this just so I can try to clear the dragon much more quickly. Here I thought it was just that Katarina was OP. <laughs> oh 
Okay, I'm getting ready to mute people. And the last dragon is Earth. That's a very nice for us. Thing is, the game may end before we can actually get it. Unfortunately, I broke aggro there. Don't die, cat. Damn it. So, yeah. I kind of messed up which cost cat at the end, but overall... Awkward and toxic game. Eh, I got a key fragment. But there we go, so... I have more chests than I can possibly open. In terms of damage, that's not unexpected, because Nautilus does his damage late game once he has items. For the most part, early game, you're a CC machine and a damage sponge. Which is what I did. Otherwise, let's see. 21 out of 36 kill participation, that's the highest on my team, actually. In terms of gold, I'm above Zyra, a little bit behind Cat, but the stars of the show were indeed Riven and uh, Jinx. So, 26 LP, I may actually be able to hit promos within four games. Hmm. So, there was something else I wanted to do in this video. Did I want to re-roll? I think that's what it was. Now, I have a skin for all these guys, and I consider the ones I had to be superior. Buccaneer Tristana was one of the ones I was on the fence about. But I'm just going to stick to Riot Girl in the event I ever do play AD Carry again. And let's see what we get. I could have also disenchanted those. It's just a coin toss here. <sighs> That's worthless. So, yeah, now that I've seen how the reroll works, I think I'm done with that. <laughs> If you're not aware, for Vladimir, I own his Soul Stealer, which I consider to be the superior one. Probably his best one, even more so than his legendary. But otherwise, I think I'm running out of junglers to get the chests for. I can go back to Udir, try Kench or Trundle. Oh, I still haven't done Rek'Sai. But yeah, if nothing else, you get to see who all I own and don't own. The one that I figure people might make a big deal out of is, holy crap, you don't own Master Yi? And the answer is no, I don't. But anyway, that's it for now. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.